Hey guys, and welcome back to another segment here. I never know if this is gonna be a new video or if I'm just adding on to the old one, so I, I don't know if I ever should just do an introduction. But we did just get a package in, actually from eBay, and we're gonna be installing a Homelink garage door opener on this car. I'm using a Adams Pro by Skylink garage door here. Honestly, the little clicker that I have is just not working that well. But I really like the idea, the functionality of this, especially with auto opening, the mirrors closing uh, automatically once you get close enough to the garage. So I want to install this. I 100% did not buy this from Tesla, obviously. As I mentioned, I got it from eBay. Tesla, I think it's like $350 and I do a free install. But I got this for like $180 shipped with taxes and I'll just do the install myself. So I think that's going to be super easy. I think it's only like a, like a 20 or 30 minute install, but we're going to go ahead and get into it right now. All right, let's go ahead and open this up, see what it looks like. Nicely wrapped. There's only like two of these left from uh, one of the sellers. It's supposed to be brand new. It definitely looks brand new. And it even comes with a little bolt. So, looks pretty easy. We'll go ahead and get the front trunk open here, front open, whatever you want to call it, and uh, get started. Well, I thought I knew what I was doing. Uh, apparently, <laughs> I don't know how to open this from the inside. So I'm gonna have to use the Tesla app. So I'll be right back. So this just pops right up. I did watch a couple of YouTube videos on how to do this. Looks really straightforward and easy. Uh, basically what we gotta do is we gotta take this whole tray out here and then we, uh, we're gonna mount the garage door opener inside of this uh, housing below this, so. All right guys, all of the bolts are undone. We just have to remove this little panel here, disconnect this light, and uh, the whole assembly should come out. Easy enough. All right, so here's what the inside of the front trunk looks like. Pretty interesting. So this is actually, let me zoom in a little bit here. This is actually the garage door opener uh, wire. It's actually taped up here. So we're just gonna untape it and we're gonna rerun it back behind here. See if my camera will pick it up, but we're gonna mount it right here on uh, this guy. In fact, there's the bolt for it, so. Pretty easy. We're just gonna move it back there and uh, we'll pretty much be done. I mean, it's that simple. All right, so here's the connector, obviously. Just gonna pull this cap off. So on this little red thing, you really gotta pull it super far back to pop this off. But once that's off, then uh, you're good to go. I don't know if this goes behind this bracket or in front? I mean, I think it goes on the front. It's just gonna be a really big pain. So this actually goes on the front part of the bumper and then this screws in from basically from this side. I don't know how I'm gonna get my hand in there to do it. I mean, I guess it's possible, but the likelihood of me dropping that bolt is gonna be pretty big. Guys, I normally never half-ass anything, but we're kind of in a position where we don't have a choice. I, there's no way I can get my arm in there. You know, where they've got this position, this this bolt, the silver one, this one here, there's just no way for me to mount this on the backside and be able to get my fingers in there to run the bolt from the other side. I can easily, however, run it from the front side, like this, which isn't technically OEM, but it just is what it is. I mean, there's nothing I can do. Um, unless I want to pull the whole front bumper off, and I'm not doing that. So we'll do this. I don't know, maybe it won't make much of a difference. So uh, let's go and just throw it on there and see what happens. All right guys, so we already got it done. It took like all of about 60 seconds, but I'll show it to you here. So this is what it looks like once it's mounted from the front, even though it's supposed to be on the back. So what do you guys think? Leave it like that or not? Let, let me know in the comments. But let's go ahead and get reassembly done and let's get a program.
All right, I'm almost second guessing myself because <laughs> I don't remember if I had to go into the service and do something. So it definitely does not recognize that we installed this. So I think there is something that we have to do uh, in the service section. So let me figure this out real quick. All right, guys, I think I'm gonna have to watch a quick YouTube video. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, it was right in front of me. You basically just have to go to low voltage and then home link, which is right here. So it does say home link retrofit, which we'll go ahead and hit. Vehicle screen will reboot, only run this routine. Hold the right turn signal in the active position, plus press down the brake for eight seconds. Doing the countdown for the eight seconds. All right, so I guess we just hit this button. All right, <laughs> I guess it's working. Right. Go ahead and let it reboot. Let's see what happens next. All right, and we're back into the screen. So it is showing the home link in now in the service section. So let's go ahead and uh, exit out of service mode. So I don't see anything in here, but I saw this on YouTube. It just says link my IQ account. So let's get out of the car. Let it turn off. We'll come back here in a minute. All right, we'll get back into the car now. It's been about a minute. So let's go ahead and see what we got. And there it is. Create home link. All right. Add new home link. Let's type in home. I guess we'll do standard mode. Park in front of your garage. I guess we'll do that. I feel like my battery, my battery's about to die on my phone. We'll go ahead and back out here and you know, follow the prompts. Park in front of your garage. Be sure to leave the, enough room for it to open. Got it. Stay in front of the car, point your remote at the bumper, press and hold the button until the headlights flash, which may take up to 30 seconds. I think we did it. <laughs> Maybe a, this is the problem living in an apartment. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, we do have a new symbol here where it says activate. So um, let's go ahead and try it. Activate. And it's working. Fantastic. There was something in the programming. I'm not even sure how to find it in here. Um, where it said... It would auto close and auto open. Here it is, home link. I guess it's in the lock settings. So it says here, auto open when arriving within 100 feet. I guess you can change this to more. And then auto close when leaving. Uh, also auto fold mirrors. And then a chime. So let's go ahead and open this. Let's test it out. Let's see if it actually, it is working which is fantastic. We didn't have to do any programming with the uh, Adams Pro. So I'm gonna literally just pull into the garage and then leave, and let's see if it works. All right guys, I'm going to uh, put my little tripod here. We're gonna back up and see what happens. My phone's about to die, so I had to disconnect the uh, DJI mic, and we're just gonna have to have some really crappy audio for a minute. So let's just go ahead and back out and uh let's see what happens i do have this set on 100 feet i almost wonder like when does when does it start shutting surely it doesn't start shutting 100 feet from here let's go back over there and see what happens maybe i have to leave for a while and then come back oh it just clicked <laughs> We heard the chime and uh, it started closing. So it saw that we came in. So let's leave and then come back and see what happens. All right, let's see if it chimes. We're coming in. And it chimed and it's working. So automatic, 
I, I would say that's about 30 feet. See, that's the thing is uh, leaving, it's, it's not activating. All right, guys, coming back from my errand. I have no doubt that it's going to work uh, coming here. It, the, the only concern I have is when it's leaving. I'm going to pull in here. Let's see uh, if it works, which I'm sure it does. And there it is. Perfect. So just something to point out here is it does say closes in 20 feet. I'm actually really impressed. Like the the Tesla home link works better than this thing. This thing is complete ass. When I go to leave here, I literally have to stick this out the window and click the button for it to want to close. Like it won't work inside the car whatsoever, uh, which is part of the reason why I got the, the home link. But this is super nice guys. All right guys, so I do want to provide an update on the whole garage door situation. I found out I had a problem with my antenna, the antenna that's actually on the, on the unit itself. So I'm gonna put a picture on the screen here, but basically the antenna was mounted underneath the chain by the builders. So effectively it made the antenna really bad. <laughs> so what I had to do is create my own antenna. So I went to Lowe's and bought all the wiring and everything. It's really easy to do, but I'll show you guys how I extended it. So first of all, if you can see that little yellow cap, that gray wire and white wire, the gray wire is the factory antenna uh, that came with it. The white wire is what I extended. So I ran it up the ceiling. I ran it on top of the uh, rail here all the way to the end and then mounted the wire actually outside of the garage door. So with this method, I'm actually able to um, fully use the home link that's inside of the Tesla the proper way. So this thing will easily open up more like 200 feet away uh, if I was to manually try to open it. So that being said, when I do leave the garage, it does auto close with no issues whatsoever. So if you guys are having issues with signal strength, just create your own antenna and then just run outside. You really don't even have to run outside, but I did just because I wanted the, the maximum reception. So anyway, I just want to throw a little clip in there. I do also want to point out one last thing. If you're having problems with it auto closing when leaving, what you want to do is pull your car just slightly outside of the garage where I guess it has a clear signal above GPS signal and hit reset location. For some odd reason, that fixed my issues. I saw one other guy on YouTube that also had this issue, but when I go to auto close now, I mean, we'll go ahead and pull out of the garage. You'll see it says here, we have 20 feet remaining. Pull out the garage and it closes instantly. I mean, you can see there, works perfect. So just reset the location and uh, that should fix any issues. If you're having antenna issues, just extend it. Really easy to do. It's like 20 bucks in parts. So anyways, if that clip helped you, make sure to hit the like button for me because uh, it really helps me out. I, I need to get myself out in the YouTube algorithm here. <laughs> and the only way we're going to do that is with interaction uh, with some of these videos. So uh, make sure to drop a comment below as well if this also helped you. Or maybe you got a question, maybe I can help. I'm happy to help. Just drop a comment down there, hit the like button, and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.